porque quando esquenta ela desliga. <risos> ok, which one is straight? Steel, steel. Let's analyze. Uh, in this case, we have uh, the idea of to to have something. Okay. Comprar, you get something. To take, you get something. To use, do you get something using? Let, let's, let's see, let's know it. To steal, you get something in the wrong way. To acquire, you get something. To inherit, in some way, you get something. In my opinion, I think that use is a bit strange. You use something, but Give you, give you the idea to, to get. It's not the size of thing. Yes. Okay. Very good. House and use. Okay. Are outside of the <laughs> mini group. Okay. Semantic feature or traço semântico. Né? We don't have the, this semantic feature. Okay. In the previous class, including tonight, we have seen some terms like antonyms, synonyms. Ambiguous words and sentences, and implicit and explicit knowledge. Implicit is our natural ability to to uh, acquire some uh, language, some knowledge. And explicit is outside of us. What we study, what we write. Okay. Uh, let's talk about ambiguity. A little bit about ambiguity. Yeah. Okay. Ambiguity, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I faço confusão, mas ambiguity, é uma forma ser terrível. Ambiguity? Ambiguity, é uma forma Ambiguity. Às vezes eu venho como uma eu digo ambiguity, but it's ambiguity, ok? Is that correct? Ambiguity. Ambiguity, dá uma paradinha. Ok. Uh, could you read for us? Your turn now again. Yes. Ela já leu, se não você, hein? Deu show, vamos lá. Great. Small animal hospital. 
can you identify the two possibilities of synthesis there? For me, please. What's the first possibility when you read?
So we are treating about ambiguous senses, two or more meanings, okay? Can you read them? I am going to explore you yeah. <laughs> as readers. The speakers are aware that two statements may be related, and third, a way that in, if one is true, true, that father was also be true. Okay, it's because of the word that you see. Okay. For example, let's see one example to understand better. Okay. Uh, now, tilis. How yes. is this? Very exotic, yes. In Brazil, it's a bit difficult to find tilis. Except uh, at the south. Okay. Uh, 9a says there are tulips in the gardens, a lot of tulips in the gardens. Okay? That's okay. Let's compare this example now. There are flowers in the garden. Uh, let's analyze those sentences. In your opinion, do you think that those sentences are paraphrases or are similar or not? They are not similar. Similar. Why? So. <laughs> Complicated, but it's very interesting too. 
Yes. <coughs> so, uh, in semantics, sorry, <coughs> device is bad. Sorry. We say that one, when one sentence is, is true and in comparison to another, this another sentence is true to, uh, we can say that 9C entails 9D. Or, in other words, we can say that the truth of 9C is the same of the truth of 9D. They are equal, they are similar. Okay? So, this is the concept of entail or entailment. It's the, the next concept we are going to study. Okay? I don't know if we have what Yes, we have. Okay? So, could you read now the big part, the huge part? Okay, <laughs> Please. Uh, These pairs of sentences are explained. Thank you very much to be here. Okay? It was a pleasure. <laughs>